What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to hard reset, or also known as force reboot, your iPhone 7 or your iPhone 7 Plus. I'm also going to show you how to put your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus into DFU mode. And if you guys don't know what these terms mean, essentially a hard reset or force reboot just allows you to restart your iPhone no matter what's going on with it. Maybe your device is frozen on a particular you know, screen for whatever reason and you just want to completely restart it. You just, you just perform the gesture that I'm about to show you, then it will just completely restart it. And DFU mode essentially allows you to put your device into a recovery state if something has you know, gone wrong with it and you want to restore it back to factory settings. You could essentially just you know, perform the gesture you know, when your device is connected to a computer and then you could restore your iPhone to factory settings using iTunes. So basically the iPhone 7 does have a new home button. It's essentially a non-physical button and it essentially works by when you press on it the phone detects that your finger is on there and that actually gives you haptic feedback and normally how you you know hard reset your device or put it into dfu mode is you use the home button and the power button and you hold them down for you know certain amounts of time to do diff to do either of those things however because this is a non-physical home button the phone needs to be fully on in order for, you know for the phone to, to, to detect that you're actually pressing the button so we can no longer use the home button for dfu mode or force rebooting or hard resetting but it's essentially very simple. All that happened with the iPhone 7 is the home button function is now just replaced with the volume down button. So basically, you just treat the home button like the volume down button in regards to hard resetting and DFU mode. So first, before even connecting our device to a computer or a power source, we're just going to go ahead and do a force reboot, aka hard reset. So but basically, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hold down the power and the volume down button. Again, it used to be power and home, but now it's power and volume down for about 10 seconds and then the device will just restart so it's a very simple concept here so just continue to hold the buttons and eventually you guys as you can see right there you'll be at the app logo and it's as simple as that so no worries about losing that functionality just you know some of the buttons which were changed in regards to the function all right so now let's just go ahead and demonstrate dfu mode so i'm just going to go ahead and plug my device into the computer here and uh, basically, again, it's the same exact concept, just the volume down button takes the place of the home button. So we're just going to go ahead and fire up iTunes here on the computer, as you can see. And of course, that, that, will, that will actually tell us when our device is in DFU mode, and it's also known as recovery mode. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and hold down the power and the volume down button for 10 seconds. After that 10 seconds is up, we're going to release the power button and continue holding the volume down button for about 15 seconds. And then iTunes will detect our device is in DFU mode, aka recovery mode. So let's go ahead and do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release the power button. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And as you can see there, just like that, it detects our device in DFU mode, aka recovery mode. And it's as simple as that. So again, Pretty much just the home button relocated to the volume button. So now you could go ahead and restore your iPhone, uh, you know, or do whatever you want to do in DFU mode, and then that's that. Now, if you guys also want to exit DFU mode without doing anything, just hold down the volume down and the power button together for about 10 seconds like this. And eventually, you'll see the app logo, and your device will exit DFU mode here. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And you guys might have to power it on afterwards, but most likely the app logo will just show up and you guys will be good to go. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys were able to be helped by it. You know, I know that's going to be definitely something that's going to be confusing to a lot of people, but, you know, a very simple solution here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to iOS devices, the iPhone 7, iOS updates, jailbreaking, and so much more. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.